what's kind of your message coming out of a, a pretty rough week for you guys? Um, we have to reestablish our identity. Uh, we've kind of gotten away from that. Uh, go back and look at the numbers and, and you know, we earned those two wins we had in the last two weeks. They were hard to get. Um, there were also two of the games in the last five where we haven't drawn a single charge. We've got one taken charge in five games. And we can't be who we need to be to have success when we don't guard. And our defense has been pretty poor for uh, some time now. And I look forward to getting practice started in a little bit. Do you see a common thread defensively between TCU game, second half of K-State? Is it just? Um, I, I think there's a little bit of individual pride. I mean, I think that's where it starts. Um, there's some things that we can adjust from a coaching standpoint. Um, the defense doesn't require a whole lot of talent. Um, and, and although we don't have the best talent in the league, we can still be a good defensive team if we're committed to it. It just takes us a certain amount of focus, a certain amount of um, discipline, and we've gotten away from those, those things. And you know, we got a we got a four game season to, to get that corrected here before whatever happens postseason plus. Does that go hand in hand with the foul trouble then? If you're not if the, you're not defending guys on the perimeter, your bigs are naturally going to absolutely. Uh, but you know, I'm not going to let my bigs off the hook. Uh, Lucas fouled out in seven minutes the other day. And it wasn't just coming over to rotate and help. He literally stood behind the guy twice and just pushed him in the back. I mean, now what he may say is he hasn't been in there enough to, you know, but at the end of the day, you do what you're supposed to do when you're on the court. And we're just not doing that enough. And that's really that simple. I mean, we'll, we'll get that corrected as a staff over the next two days. And I'm pretty confident that we'll have a better defensive performance on Wednesday. I have no idea if we'll make any shots. We're going to guard. Can you explain individual pride and how it's affecting the performance on the court? Um, I, I don't know if there's much to explain there. Um, you know, it's got to mean something to you to do your job for the team. And, you know, when we have had success, we've had multiple guys um, doing those things, making those hustle plays. Um, and, and that's who we have to be. We, we're a better team than we are a bunch of individuals, uh, and that's okay. You know, I've contended all year that we can be a team that has success, but it's not going to be because we have one guy carry us to the promised land and you know score 30 points a night and make plays for everybody else. But if everybody buys into what they're supposed to do for the team and commits to that wholeheartedly without any second thoughts, uh, we can continue to have the success that we've had periodically, even through conference play. Cam pointed to maturity as maybe being somewhat behind the focus issue this team has had. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, we've got some guys who are in situations they haven't been in before. Uh, there's no one in our locker room who's led a team to any kind of real success before. Um, and, you know, that's, that's why I'm here. Uh, that's why... Uh, part of the reason I think I was hired is because of those qualities. Uh, I've been there as a player. I've been on staffs that have done that. Uh, and so, yeah, it falls on me to lead more. Uh, and I'm fully accepting that responsibility. A lot of your upsets have come on the road. You guys have one of the league leaders coming into Gallagher, Iowa this week now. How do you bring that recipe on your home court? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't put too much in the home road thing. Uh, we played really well in Lubbock not, not too long ago. Um, and again, we just didn't sustain it for 40 minutes. They're a really good team. Um, they're not going to feel bad for us that we're coming off two tough losses. So we better just focus in on what are the things that we can control, that we can do in the game on Wednesday to give ourselves a chance to have success. And at some point, you've got to make some shots. Uh, but if we don't guard and if, we don't, if we're not the hardest playing team on the court, it really puts a team who already has a very small margin for error at more of a disadvantage. I asked you last week about the pressure with the end of the season near. Any more pressure now after those two losses? Nope. There, I mean, again, this is um, it's a process, and I don't want to use a cliche, but you know, this team is still has opportunities out there, um, and, and I'm encouraged because I know that all of our problems are fixable. 
the things that we can control. Now, again, shot making and all that stuff sometimes is out of our control. But if we shore up our defense, we'll get better shots. If we're more committed to um, you know, making the easy play offensively, we'll score a little bit better. So yeah, I'm, I'm really still excited about what this team can do over the next two weeks. I mean, you know, we're, we're probably, in a lot of people's mind, already overachieved. And, and that's not the reason that there's no pressure. This, I don't think about the outside expectations, pressure-wise or not. I just focus on, again, what do I do today to get my team to be better? And um, that, that'll start in about 15 minutes when practice starts.